Hi, I'm Julianne Cost. In the next few minutes, we're going to look at two ways to change the capture time of your images. The first will allow you to offset the time for a time zone change, and the second will allow for a custom adjustment. For example, to align multiple cameras used to shoot a single event, but that had different date and time settings in the camera. First, let's say I neglected to change the time on my camera when I was changing the time zones. I'll go ahead and select this folder. And with the first image selected, we can see that in the metadata panel, it was photographed at 5.31.49. Then I'll choose the edit menu to select all of the files in the folder. And then I'll choose metadata and edit capture time. I'll choose to shift by a set number of hours. And then all I need to do is select the number of hours that I want to change from the list. Now you'll notice that there is a warning saying that this operation cannot be undone, but that just means that you can't use undo or command Z in order to reset them after you apply this. However, you can change them back to their original settings. I'll go ahead and select change all. And now we can see that the capture time has been changed in the metadata panel and it's been changed for all of the images. If I did want to reset it, I could choose the metadata menu and then revert capture time to original. Now they're back to where they were, which is a good thing in this instance because the original time was actually correct. Now, what if I wanna correct one of my cameras because one of them has the time set incorrectly? And let's assume that it's not off by a time zone, but it's off by a few minutes instead. I'm sure that some of you have had this happen when there are multiple photographers photographing a wedding, for example, so first, you're gonna to need to figure out what the time difference is between the two cameras. And this is easiest if you can just look at the cameras, but if you don't have access to the cameras, then you're gonna to need to figure it out by finding images where both cameras were used to photograph something, like for example, when a cake was cut at a wedding. Then you'll look at those images and you'll need to calculate the time difference between them. Let's just say in this example, I find out that one of my cameras is 10 minutes off. I'll select this folder and then use the metadata filter in order to select the camera that I want to adjust the time on. Then I'll select all of the images and choose metadata, edit capture time. Lightroom Classic is going to give me the capture time of the first image. I'll go ahead and change that. Instead of 431, I'll make it 441 and all of the images that I have selected will have their time shifted by this 10 minutes. I'll go ahead and change all, and we can see in the metadata panel, the first image has been changed and all of the rest have been as well. One last item before we wrap up. By default, Lightroom Classic is keeping track of the capture time in the catalog. Now, if you've selected the catalog settings and under metadata, have enabled automatically write changes to XMP, then the information is going to be stored there as well. Or if you're working with DNG files, it will be saved within the DNG. If you want to write the date and time changes into a proprietary RAW file, say for example, a Nikon NEF or Canon CRW, before you make the date and time changes, you'll want to enable write date or time changes into the proprietary raw files. Excellent. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.